All right, good afternoon, everybody, and now sorry what? for being late with Any all sense? the episodes this week. It has been a very rough Life week. Right I have literally been dealing with a uh, 110 degree heat, which literally almost gave me heat stroke and screwed my allergies up severely. Cost me a job, but you know what? I can't, being on the water was just absolutely brutal for me. So, looks like we pulled Manx on this weekly bar. Safeguarding the future. Uh, oh yeah, we got the combat drugs, we have the auras, and we have the mercs. Okay, now, mercs, mercs, mercs. We got them in max our energy pretty fast. So, we got 23 seconds on this one. Let's get some rifles going. We can get the rifles up and running, and then we can, um, ooh, is that a Zertol? I don't know yet. We shall see. Ooh, these are both really good choices on Manx. Attack speed is absolutely godly, especially with combat drugs and stims. But plus one range is also really good. Let's do attack speed. Like, one aura really does not make or break the game if you get a good one, but it will give you one hell of an advantage. So, I'm right-clicking the tier 3 power upgrade. That way we can get a little extra oomph, and we cut, we cut through Zagara. Okay, so if Zagara is my wave, that'll make a... Very interesting setup for me, which will be very nice. Kill order I could do some Zerglings up front. That will Hostile. take the bailing spam on Zagara. Or we can just do a couple of flamethrowers. You know what? I'm liking the flamethrower idea better, but let's space them out a little just to give us a little more an edge. That way we don't get bailing barraged all at once. All right, I want this power upgrade in 15 seconds, 11. Talk to me. Let's get the gas at 225. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, so the hack is Zagara, and I'm kind of support. Now what I can do is, to get this last one, once we get enough minerals, we'll get the 35 from this one. The Banshee's got me. I need T2 for detection. Research complete. All right, let's get T2 rolling. We'll get the bunker, we'll get detection up, and then we'll deal with those. Yeah. The Banshees are only going to be a temporary distraction for a couple of turns, so not too bad. All right, we got our minerals back for that, which will push us into T2. Very, very nice. I hope you guys have all enjoyed your week, and it's been absolutely um, lovely for you guys. It's like, I've been dealing with the Florida heat, and it's kind of been driving me a little bit bonkers, but it's not too bad. What is this, a double cigar? But, yeah, this is just typical summer weather for us. I mean, it is a little hotter than normal. Like, I mean, uh, 95 degrees at night with 100% humidity will just brutally decimate anybody. I don't care who you are. That is just brutal to stand up against. Yeah, I need to get detection in ant here. So I'm saving all my minerals. We'll drop the bunker in a second. Say hello to my little friend. We'll drop the hailstrom launchers, two rifles, and two flamethrowers just because of all the um, Zagara spam on Zerglings. Now we can really start getting some units up. Let's get the Sky Fury. We are going to min max that one. I want transformation. And then the next thing is going to be the witness. I can scan for one turn. That will not really hurt us that much. The Queens might actually help Zagara win. Possibly. Nope, the Hawk has got her. Good deal. He ate the he ate the volatile. That was funny. Oh, uh, I might have scanned too early. Yeah, I did. Ooh, that sucks. Ooh, Alaric put all his subbies up front. That is bad. All right, there's the witness. Now we have detection. And these guys need to get detection. All right, let's drop that. 
And just to give us a little more air coverage, I'm going to make three of these house from launchers. That is a lot of Zerglings. Give me bunker tech. We're going to need it. Give me weapons. Definitely making sure we get up to that. Um, kill these damn uh, banshees. Come on, witness, get up there. There we go. She's plucking away now. He has no anti-air outside the diamond back, which is good. Which means my sky fury is gonna decimate this. Perfect. And now we got sky fury support for Alarak, which is all sucks. Wow. And we have infested sieges. Very, very nice. Alright, we're moving and grooving. We got some power coming up now. Ooh, let's put a big merc down this time. More minerals. Which might let us get another Fury up. Can we get it out before the wave? Ah, I got it out, but we have no tech whatsoever. That's okay. We only lose uh, the massive damage. Yeah, that's not too bad. At least we have some uh, armor damage. Alright, let's get ready. Let's take out these. Perfect. Now I get to crunch on Alarak a little. So far, not too bad. Infested Siege is definitely helping. I'm actually thinking Emperor Shadows for this. Aegis Guard would be good too. Or we could drop... No, we're going to switch this up. We are going to do a full line of medevacs. Because this will heal both me and Dahaka. And Stuke. Stu. Yeah. Stuke? Stubicle? I gotta, we're going to look up how to pronounce that guy's name. And then I'm going to get the gas while we got the center. And we drop this to give us a little more edge. We got double Sky Fury, so we got air under control. I got the ground. We got healing tech. Should keep the flamethrowers alive, hopefully. I'm pretty sure... Oh, we're in range of the um, turrets. They're nuking my... Um, Medics, come on, medics, fall back, fall back. Heal this guy. Yeah, there we go. Heal the bunkers. We got two medics left, one medic left. Can he keep these guys alive? Oh, almost. At least this guy here is still fucking away. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's start up in the game. Let's get our warhound. Let's get our houndies up. Did I make a wave on the hound? No, we did not. That's okay. Not enough I'm actually going to move this guy in a little. And let's do an armor plate. Took the bunker. Perfect. Alright, now we just got to crunch through Alarak. The attack speed helps. And we have full medic support for the bunkers now. He's got to kill these before they spawn or we're going to lose the medics. Good deal. Alright, let's bring an Aegis Guard to the field. Beefy tank. And we can drop another one of these. This will award us another Warhound. These Warhounds are beefy with attack speed. 0.93 with 27 damage a shot. You cannot beat that kind of damage. Oh, he's... We still got five medics up. Look at these things. They are like crunching away on Alarak.
Ooh, that's a Wraith Walker. Warhounds will melt a Wraith Walker. Look at these two Sky Furies. This is like heroes. And the Aegis Guard's still on the bunk on the Nexus. Was still on the Nexus. I do what must kill Safeguarding the future. You know, I don't think we need anything fancy to finish this. I think a couple houndies will be enough. We'll have that for the next wave. Switching to full ready to serve. Let's do that. Let's get the fourth gas in T3 just because we can. And then I'll do this armor plate if we hit across the line. These are light, aren't they? Yes, they are. We're going to get a black hammer. I'll get a black hammer to deal with these banshees. Either that or we could just do another Sky Fury because a Sky Fury will mess up all... Um, Wraith Walkers, because they're massive. We're doing 119 damage a shot to those. Very nice. That is a lot of roaches, but versus infested sieges, wow, they just melt. You see that? That entire armor line of roaches just went kaboom. I'm scanning for the Haka just so he can shoot these. Oh, the Haka's back in the Nexus. It's going once, going twice, and that is a GG, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys stick around for some more content and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you at the very next match after we check out the score screen. We got to go check out that score screen. I'm pretty sure we did pretty good. I mean, the Alarak kind of did something goofy by doing so many um, subbies right at the beginning. I probably would have did a Vanguard at least. All right, how many did we kill? 137. That's not too bad. I mean, it was low on the kill count, but we did our medics. We spent like literally 500, 700 minerals on medics. So that kind of supported all three of us. So it was worth it in the trade-off. All right, guys. See you at the next one.